together this will be an extra sort of um, late Monday message because I realized one thing that um, I think I mentioned that or now I don't know if this is to for the Monday to come or, no I think this one because I had to erase several or a couple because I felt that this just ain't oh sorry this just uh, it was felt too fragmented and it didn't make sense to share the things that I saw with you a few things but then I realized it probably means this and by the way I have this picture up uh, with um, this is a corridor in a hotel in or maybe it was a uh, not as a hotel but you know those other hmm, it's called some know, walking homes is it called like that yeah yeah anyways in um, um, so left to which is nearby where my granddad lived and we went on this uh, odd vacation some years ago um, and a few years ago where we visited graves it was not like it seems so morbid but it actually it was like not just random graves it was those what since they don't you know live anymore my grandparents and so it was those relatives that I know and so so we went to several places around there and further down in Sweden and uh, this picture I don't know I kept because it feels like it it looks sort of daycare-ish with like it's childish with all those bright colors but at the same time it's like you if you look from beneath through the chakra colors upwards you know from the basic red then this will, this will be I don't know um, and related to that I would uh, I will do a little meditation uh, for you to heal wounds it's a little bit some of you wished for more in-depth things and so I thought this is not I mean some of the things it's not that it's secretive really or so it could be some things that are very strong and efficient that uh, I maybe wouldn't share um, but still you need to practice it and have that before it's efficient so um, but also for these kinds of things it's not that that it's um, hidden in a way or so it's rather that it's uh, it won't you know give so much if you haven't the basics if you don't if you haven't learned those or practiced those but still I want to share it with you because I think it's needed here around and um, yeah what I really wanted to talk about was that chair that suddenly dawned on me what it meant if now it doesn't happen that anyone here have an exact like office kind of chair with a cloth on you know that it's made of that is uh, st- white and blue in stripes and also that it's uh, like torn a little bit on the uh, back on the right side there and if I mean I really have to warn you here people are so uh, critical about psychic the mediums and understandably and that's just natural and fine uh, thing is it's even more weird you know if if you actually see things I mean people wouldn't always like that so um, it's it's more comfortable if if that were, well, would be a lie you know or so but anyways it could be it could be an actual share that what I, was what I thought first but now I start to think it's not mm. and also now I just saw uh, the unknown with uh, my former mentor that I had for 10 years, Lena Ronhagen, she's kind of a t- tough cookie, but I mean, 
I don't envy that. I don't envy the those who are out there like that. They get very attacked. They so sometimes I hesitate, but I still I want to use this. I want to have this out there with and use it with you and for you and so also because I have it. But I mean it's not easy because you will always meet those who like hate on you or those who um yeah for whatever reason some people think it's just something that is evil or that it's uh, fake you know that's maybe the main things fake maybe it's even larger that people kind of seek you out to prove you wrong and and it's not that you can actually very much prove yourself right because it's not such a it doesn't work in that way. It's not that it can't be. You know, I mean, you um, you see the the reflections in in. I mean, you you get the confirmations over and over again if you have this. But it's not that you still can like. Um, it's not not like whatever math. I don't know what I can. Maybe it is like math. Maybe actually very much so. But uh, I mean, yeah. Anyway, so so I kind of thought about that now when I saw that, that I kind of admire that bravery to put themselves out there like that and also getting in touch with many people because you haven't this turned on a hundred thousands percent all the time, which means you, I mean, people could try to fool you and people can try all kinds of things and it's a little bit disturbing, but... Anyways, um, that was not what I really wanted to talk about, but I wanted to talk about this share a little bit because now suddenly it it, t- it took me a while though. But I do think it means that it's somewhat it's like like a symbol because usually and Lena said that to me before that it's fascinating the way I have this gift. Many s- get the information through symbols, and she didn't know how I get my sim. I mean, I get symbols too. But I often get the exact things also that, that the spirits say. I mean, exactly. And uh, so that it's that it references what, what I see, the exact thing that I see, more than a symbol, but also symbols. But but she thought, and they were saying words, exact words, what they want to say and so. And so she was quite fascinated of, of that. I mean, the, I hadn't t- t- told her that that was the way I picked things up most of the time or many times and anyway so um, so that was to me very much a confirmation also but um, what was it now there was something about that (laughs) God, you see I do that all the time I thought it was and and then I get so eager and then I have no clue what I was talking about yeah Uh something 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 um yeah, therefore I also misinterpret many times. Sometimes I actually see something symbolic, which is not, which is actual. It have showed itself to be many times, a few times at least. Um, but now, for example, I thought about it as, okay, someone have this office share, and maybe someone have, maybe that is what it means exactly, but it feels more like it's a symbol maybe. And then, I mean, if you aren't acquainted with how to communicate with the spirit world maybe you uh, don't um, yeah well I will r- rather like that I will try to un- I will try to explain how that's done and um, yeah I've seen that in, I got this long ago that you kind of raise your vibe or yourself up you it's like i saw it as as an image as they come down like that's also why i guess we reference them as being in heaven they come like from above so but and we uh lift off sort of or if you sit and meditate and you get like light in that sense lighter like as if you're weightless that sensation I feel it is very much anyways then we can connect there in somewhere in the middle and and and, uh, what 
and learn to understand each other as uh, uh, they actually, I think, uh, with me, they tested certain various things to communicate with me. And then they pick, I guess, what we, uh, what is most efficient and what uh, does not take too much energy for them to use and and that I pick up easiest and so on. So And so we find a kind of a common language that make it, po- make it possible for me to translate it uh, and understand what they want to say. Um, but the, the, the basic is to be, to, to try to be neutral and uh, to not to not have your own ego in the way you interpret through your own uh, experiences and consciousness of course but at the same time you don't uh, try to fix it into whatever you think it should be or you know like that so not to be engaged in that engaged in that way as in magic when you project and or in affirmations or in those who do sports who see the result, you know, and that that is using it in the other direction, while rece- being receptive is is the same thing, but in the other direction. Then they send their information, and you pick it up, and you you don't. It's like having that part that can create an image, like a goal image or something. That part turned off so that you won't meddle with the with the information you get because if you do you will translate it wrong so that, uh, i mean so that i talk with it sometimes uh, back to the share then um i think it's a person and it represents a person so it's it's i think it's finland i think it's the the maybe <laughs> i don't know for sure any of it maybe it's a share just a share and maybe someone recognized that and then I didn't say exactly that the uh, that it was most damaged there on the upper right but um, now I think that actually is this, and also how it means in that song I sang by Cornelis, Cornelis Breswick that it also means the position someone have been very long at a certain position and they're a little bit worn out and and some some I mean, since the colors were blue and white, and that's the colors of the flag of Finland, I think there is some connection to Finland here. And also that maybe this person have a damaged or worn out like shoulder or neck or something like that. But it's not un- unrepairable. And this person is also very, very loved. This chair was very, very loved, I felt. So whomever that is. Yeah, and it can take so long time you know there was for a while I saw the numbers 302 and I knew it was a message but I couldn't figure it out I tried and tried and tried to, to understand what does this mean what what do they want to tell me and it, it popped up now and then and I didn't understand it and it took like yeah it took like a decade or so for me to eventually realize what it meant and it was like this when you it's um, this um, uh, life-saving technique where you pump the heart 30 times and then you breathe two times and then you pump 30 and breathe you know that 32 is what it was then 302 so it it took so long time but I, I couldn't let go of it because it had that sort of um, that kind of um quality sometimes you know i can see vague numbers for no whatever reason or at least not reasons i understand and i don't feel that they have a lot of uh, information or that it's not so strong information anyways it's not so compact so so i i just there is a lot of information that just passes by because i couldn't like go around trying to pick up every number and you go, would go crazy quite quickly then but you know that came back and it was very very strong so I knew I need to like um, uh, unlock this uh, riddle I need to understand what they mean but I had almost given up or I had given up because but I felt still this um, what is it what is it what is it 
and then it totally made sense to me yeah that when in those situations or yeah where i've seen it it have been referencing to that then so yeah Ah, yeah, so, so so it's a different way of, uh, it's like, uh, that's also where you, if you want to develop these gifts, you should probably start to write a dream journal. That's a super great tool. And as I mentioned before many times, but to, to it's best not to turn, if you lay, if you're asleep and dream and then wake up and remember something, if you, if you're not used to remember much. Then to write it down and uh, not change position, have a pen and paper there if possible. And um, and if it's dark, just try to write so you can understand what it says in the morning or so. But um, uh, it's best to not change because you will lose details or, or or not recall exactly how it was. Even if you wait for, I mean, you can wait a little bit just to recall if it was a longer sequence of a dream. So you get the, get it in your memory before you write it. But if you wait for a little bit longer, then the the information will not be as correct as it was. So if you do that, you don't even have to try to interpret your dreams at all. Just writing them down for a longer time will start to make you see that there is information and patterns there. And that it also is... Uh, a, langu- a different kind of language that really says something to you and um, that's an amazing thing you know yeah we are constantly given so much information to decode or <laughs> yeah it's awesome anyway so um, uh, well w- but I felt that it was so fragmented and and also there have been quite heavy energies around here and and also had didn't know what who this belonged to or what not and so on so I felt like I don't know if this is beneficial for anyone I felt so I thought maybe this is not the right way to try to tune in and feel things around you or or I mean that that would reference to you in some way or give you a message of sorts some of you that become so scattered since you are many people I used to read for one people it's or one person I mean not one people <laughs> yeah I must drink coffee now <laughs> hmm so let's see. And also another thing that I got was to read in all important papers. That was a really important message somehow. Uh, and uh, yeah, I saw some vague things that I really don't get. So I will just skip some of them. I mean, I don't get that much, but it, I understand the meaning. I mean, the, the sentence at least. Some things are, mm, I don't know. Okay, I, I will say one. No, 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 I won't go there anyways. Yeah. And I'm a little bit, um, I'm not afraid that I will, I'm so used to, <laughs> you know, that people would take me, I mean, those who know what I do and, and have experience it, they know that I can do it. But but mostly, I guess I go for many, but I, for sure, I'm used to being, I mean, meeting uh, those who are really, not not believing in it much and uh, or believing in me maybe also maybe if they believe in it but they don't believe i can do it um and um so that is not the problem for me that's totally that's like that's the status quo or what do you say how do you even i never know how to say that oh never mind but anyways it's like the same old same old balance you know so but it would be a little bit worse if i really say things that matches exactly for people here then you I would freak out people people would freak out a little bit I think so I'm not sure that's a good thing and also people can be suspicious then that how can you do how do you know that you know and <laughs> that kinds of things ah, and then you fall into that ditch instead first you're you are um, seen as someone who uh, are delusional or fake things or so and then and, and otherwise you are seen as someone who in some other way is a sort of a con artist of, of sorts 
So, I mean, you can't ever win <laughs> when it comes to that. But I'm not here to win. I'm just here to share and see what I hope something makes sense then to anyone of you. But anyways, that came through pretty clearly to read in all important papers. I don't know what it, what that is, but important. And also to whom it may be more important to some of you than some else. Also, I saw another thing which is not important to you, but it is important to me. And that is one of my friends passed on not long ago. Hickey is his name. Oh, I have been uh, with me my whole life. One I love dearly. And although we haven't been in touch a lot, someone you just know he, who he is and you know, and that uh, such a loving, lovely, wonderful person. We also were classmates for all, all my childhood and everything. And um, so he passed over very s- suddenly and uh, also I have a child and I read that sad, sad. But anyways, that was not what to say. Also, I saw some, some uh, birds that were behaving very strangely in the sky before the day before or if it was the same day that I found out that he had passed on but they uh, were flying and making a pattern I also filmed it with a heart and then they moved on and I was so I thought what is this <laughs> as I do then <laughs> what is the message what is the message and then when I found out that he had passed on shockingly then um, then I knew that was him I felt that I knew that he he's he sent me love and um, and I feel he's okay but there have been a surprising thing that I never experienced with anyone else and I hope if anyone here know who I am I hope it won't be bothersome for you to hear me talk about him if you know who he is and everything talking about Finland he's actually from Finland where his parents is but so. Um, so so anyways he um when I've seen him in spirit since then, or when he have come through as a sort of, I'm not not saying message, but I've seen him. Then he have turned not turned away, but he haven't listened. You know, if I've said like try to communicate with him, he have had his back towards me or walked away, or and I wonder what is this? And I we have a good connection, so it's nothing like against me ever. But it was so surprising because I've never met that with spirits before. So I wonder what it is. Maybe he's busy just with doing his thing there. He seemed to be pleased and, and I mean not pleased but I don't know how to say it. He seemed to be totally fine and um, you know uh, okay where he is. So it's nothing about that. But just that. And also when I tried to like say his name and he didn't turn around and like and I wonder why. So um some day ago, he, I saw him also in front of me with his back towards me, and he turned and and gave me this warmth with his head, just like so I could see half his face, like and uh, and gave me this warm smile. And I was glad he did because it, uh, I don't still know why he is like turning that way, but still it was like there was some message in there that. Um, it, it, it is fine it will be fine it was something something in there I don't know that was so mm, just lovely anyways moving on um, then so because I tried to kind of go into some or rather raise my energy or rather um, slow my thoughts um, and relax you know it sounds like you speed up but you really slow down to get into that mode where you can pick up things and then uh, even first that my guides will come through and say things they want to say to me uh, obviously since they guide me <laughs> and I'm the one doing it but then I also try to focus on you and, and what could be needed and and, um, and so yeah but it felt really uh, like I don't make much sense of it when it's too many energies and people around and uh, so but I felt that some things weren't like for me as personally as such um, let's see now but I thought that I would um, 
um, pick some cards also as an extra message. But now maybe I talked for too long. Let's see if there was something else here. Um, there were some things that I really can't make sense of, so I will just skip that. I mean, there sometimes it can seem to mean many things at the same time and so on and that's a little bit different I mean difficult to describe I would want it to be a little bit more clear than that so I can say it at least in a good way but um, also there was some whoop, there were some, was some person there I felt as being also these who have this wounded or not maybe wounded shoulder but if not wounded so it's uh, it felt like maybe more worn out or so but anyways I, felt, I thought about doing a meditation for some healing here for us all and also I felt someone else there um, yeah that they have uh, you know like um, how to say like this person can be dangerous and I don't know in what direction and how or what why or so but there is something there um and yeah i don't know what it is what that's about but there are many energies that aren't really balanced if i say it <laughs> vaguely <laughs> so also that is then not that, that makes it even more difficult to pick up There are very many energies that are so far apart and, and different in their vibes. Yeah. But I think um, uh, I think maybe I should actually describe a few things first. I will uh, soon. I will go to this little meditation, or I th should put, pick some cards. Also, I think about everything at the same time. Let's see now. I, I thought about um, maybe maybe. I have some things that I thought about mentioning. Um, about this kind of sixth sense. To me it's the normal sense. So I don't know. To me it's not all that special. I mean it's special. It's the best thing I know. But it's still the normal. To, to communicate with spirits is like absolutely the most natural and normal way that I know so but still there was a time when I didn't understand these things and I do understand that people question them and how and let's I mean if, if it's possible to describe at least how it's experienced I think that could help others to to get why you need to for example tune in or it, it's not that you from your uh, when you you are you know this alpha, alpha waves in the brain and so on if you are in the natural normal awakened state some of us go around being half in trance all the time though more or less so we pick up and anyways but if you if you aren't if you're in your awakened state you wouldn't easily or also, also need to learn that as my granddad didn't you know to to shut it off to be able to not tune into that because otherwise you will be overwhelmed by all kinds of signals and information so and yeah so so you kind of need to go into that space and that therefore I often do readings so that I sit for an hour beforehand I mean distant readings and then I tune into the person and then I then I reveal what I heard or saw to them or I mean what I picked up about them uh, and uh, because if I sit with someone, it would take much longer time because usually I can eat quicker go into trance by myself. And also I can kind of stay there, although I write things down that I see or pick up. Meanwhile, it still is a code to drift back. If I sit with someone, then then I don't go as deep into trance. I just I stay on a more surface level because I talk to them at the same time and, and they may ask, and not me, not that, but yeah, also that, but ask things or... Um, so, but it's more giving in many ways also to do it 
side with the other person in the room because the spirits come through very clear then in a different way they can give messages i feel as clear anyways but to feel their presence in the room that's way stronger when it comes to sitting next to a person it's because they are so close to that person so much want to come i've felt that also through the through the computer recently very strongly but um, that's not as common but i love it i love it that's the most lovely thing it's like it's like very uh, like tingles <laughs> yeah but it may be in a, yeah it's a different kind of but still it feels really awesome to be in connection with spirits um just the the sensation of of that energy is lovely um yeah what else <laughs> yeah anyway so um maybe I, I talk for so long and maybe i shouldn't go through this maybe i don't get to the cards by the way we'll see um see what can i what do i want to say about this of this i mean um Yeah, there are so many, there are many, you know, um, there are many, there are many ways to experience it also, and all are right, it's not that, there, that it's the same, or is there is one right way to experience it, we pick up differently, so, hmm, And I, I have a little bit of a hard time, although I go into that trap myself, describing what I've seen, and then I kind of say what what would be the experience in the afterlife and so on. Apparently, I have no clue. You know, oh, I need to actually also do another thing, but I've mentioned it. <laughs> Maybe I need to... Okay, I will put the ly lyrics beneath to that uh, song, um, the whole Loud on Wainwright third. Um four is a magic number that's important to remember <laughs> that you know don't listen don't listen to me listen to yourselves and also um, because I've kind of been very skeptical to those who say describe all kind of exactness I, because I've understood that there is it, this is their way of viewing it or what they are able to pick up it's not like the truth as such but then again there are many who experience it similarly and um, um, as from where I am in my, on my path and my understanding, that's what I see of it. But I'm not saying that is how it is. I mean, that's the truth of what is to come or so. But it, what makes sense to me now is, is those things. So, But anyways. Mm. So... And also to call, it's very difficult if you're very engaged in a situation yourself. It, it affects you personally yourself. I mean, the spirits will come through and tell you what you need to know. But uh, but to try to kind of read a situation that you are involved in personally very much, that can be tricky. Because you will want to see certain things or not see certain things. For example, my bonus kid, I prayed to not see things about him. Because I was, I, I knew I couldn't cope if I would see something that would be bad around him. So that's the only one that I've asked that about, actually. <laughs> so, but later I've been slacking on that he's alive, so <laughs> everything's fine. Um, huh. Yeah, so we need to silence our thoughts anyways, but you know that already. And also they know better than us. As I said, I usually don't ask questions. I don't communicate like that. Maybe I will start to do that to be more efficient. But but usually I'm just quiet. I kind of call them. <laughs> now I'm going to read them. And then I sit there quietly and wait for them to talk. And uh, I guess most readers don't do that. They ask for this or that. Can you say where you were born? Can you tell me this or that? But I, I kind of trust that they know what is the most important things to 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 give. I mean to get across 
at the moment. And at this moment, it was a share with blue and white stripes. No, but anyways, mm, maybe it's, maybe it's related to some sort of like those football shirts or something, you know, mm, where they because this, uh, you know, this. Um, uh, flag does not it, it doesn't have stripes really but still anyways it can oftentimes mean many things at the same time by the way um so they try to say as much as possible with one symbol for example to also yeah use their energy efficiently in the best kind of way um, and i think i mentioned this about uh, if you have a um, fan or some uh, in the roof when it moves very qu on a quick speed, you can't see the, or you can't um, differ differentiate those each and every one of those blades. But if you slow it down, you you start to see, you start to pick it up, or uh, you know, separate it and understand that, you know. So, and that's what they do when they, or when you ask them maybe. Or if they slow their vibrations so you can pick up things. I used to do it like this. And that is something also Lena said to me to not do so much. But I used to ask them like three, four times before I... Uh, so it takes a little bit. It, it's not like I quickly say things. I used to ponder it and, and ask them several times to confirm. I guess they are really tired of me because I ask again and again. Is that exactly what you said? Do you mean that? Do you mean that? In that way I actually ask them but... Um, so I'm, so I feel that I'm quite clear on what they say. Yeah, and that is unnecessary because I do pick up the first time, but just to make sure, <laughs> I want to be like, and that is to overdo it. Yeah, yeah, but but we are energy, and they are energy. We are we are energy, you know. And then it's less difficult to understand. Um, so, and also it's explained also like when, when it comes to spirit well and ourselves and so on, like uh, if we think about the ocean and or the divine source of uni or universe or so on, and and then we take a cup, a teacup from that ocean, that would be our individual self while... Uh, the ocean, the water itself actually is the oneness, I guess. And the ocean would be like the soul, maybe, or something. And when there's this uh, vessel, this uh, cup, um, when it breaks, then then the soul is freed. So it's an experience, as I understand it, of liberation rather than you know, it, you have been contained in this little cup. <laughs> so, and then you can go back to your s spiritual home. Um, and also telepathic, I mean telepathically, do you say? You can pick up, you can kind of know things. Sometimes you don't see symbols or, w or even words or so on. But you know just something. And that's also... Or you can see someone. I've seen several of my past lives and I can s see what they want to say, but also there I kind of demand cl clarity so I want them to express it although I kind of know it just see looking into their eyes I know what they want to say or almost you know even if not in exact words but um, and they like they decide I mean it is up to us also how receptive we are if we are in that kind of balance at the time and so on but also they kind of decide what and who comes through and how clear they are or how long they want to stay but it's an interaction of course um, yeah and uh, I think it also have to do with what we are or what we um, accept at the time at the moment as well as what they what we need to hear sometimes we don't wouldn't accept it so they won't be bothered to tell us them because we wouldn't listen at all so maybe they try anyways but yeah um, they will they then wait until we're more receptive for that message maybe and also when them they leave 
I've not experienced it so much that it would be a problem, but but then it's like a battery in a mobile phone, for example, like when it starts to fade and it gets gradually weaker and weaker, this signal until it stops. It's when they their energy to stay in, in on that frequency um, at that time is, um, yeah, you lose that contact, so to speak. Um, let's see. Yeah, there are many different ways of being a psychic. I mean, not different ways, rather, but different aspects of it. Like our five senses, we can pick up from all of this and knowing. Yeah. I wonder if it was something else about this. No, actually it wasn't. I don't know why I check in to something here, but it was good examples, I felt. It's easy to maybe understand, but how can we do a meditation <laughs> in a stressed way now? That was not maybe a good idea to try to explain that now. But anyways, I know there are the many skeptics out there. So therefore, since if I will do this more with you. And I would have to trust that the spirits would let me know. If, that's, uh, if that brings problems to someone, then that's not a good idea, you know. I mean, if, if I cause trouble, I really don't want to. <laughs> that's also one thing I don't I don't want to talk about him too much he really wouldn't want me to but my f- first husband whom I still love and he me um, oh, he is such a blessing anyways um, he <laughs> the f- first time he saw me when I was like in my 20s it took a, a like a decade longer before we got together in that sense but we always had a lot of love for each other from the first look at each other uh, but um, anyways, he <laughs> he, t- he told me what he thought about me from because I was a very wild child at the time. And what he thought when he saw me then, and he said, this girl means trouble, <laughs> he said, <laughs> was his thought. So he stayed away a bit, a bit distance to her. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyways, I don't want to cause any trouble and I didn't want then it's for anyone. And... Um, so if this seemed to be become, it seems like it activates a lot of uh, uh, energies, a lot of dramatic energies around here for some reason now. And I don't know if that have to do with that, that, I, uh, that I'm more open like this. And uh, I hope it's not, you know. Um, but please feel free to let me know if there's something you connect with or thought you have a questions or... Or even if you want to teach me something because I have a lot to learn from you and from all of you. And so, you know, um, yeah, I want to learn more. I love to learn. And also we can be right even if we have differences. You know, both of us as well. We have our own ways, but yeah. Anyways, so here is the one exercise that is from the Corellian tradition that I will try to do with you here then. And I just thought about that when I saw this photo that I had, that I had here. Um, and it's about working to heal fears or spiritual wounds. It's a kind of chakra working. And if you aren't acquainted with working with your chakras or, or with energy, you wouldn't maybe get much out of this or maybe you have also if you have practiced a lot in previous life let's say you have developed things then if you just get in touch with these things they will be clear for you instantly because you have already trained although you may not be aware of it in this lifetime so it depends so maybe someone can pick it up but if it doesn't give you something um, I hope you don't dismiss it it's just a step further than where you are at this moment um, it may be efficient anyways, but you won't have that same experience and, and understanding of what happens or feel it or so. Maybe. So, yeah. Hmm. So, anyways. <clears throat> yeah. So, first of all, begin by imagining yourself in a hallway. You can close your eyes. You don't need to look at this hallway. <laughs> um and um, the hallway is long and on one side are many doors 
Make it a point to notice what this hallway looks like. Is it dark or bright? Is it dirty or clean? How does it make you feel to look at it? Are the doors sturdy or flimsy? The hallway represents your subconscious and if it's stuck or dirty or make you uncomfortable, take a moment to change it. Imagine it differently. See any mess disappear, create more light, redecorate it, make the door stronger if you choose. Make the hallway a place you're comfortable with. Now walk along the hallway and look at each door. Behind each door is a fear or a spiritual wound. Though you will not see them yet at this point. You do not need to know what the fear or wound is exactly to walk on it in this way. Sometimes it will be apparent and sometimes not. One door somewhere along the way will be marked with an X or with some other sign that is the one to enter. When you come to the marked door, go in. Take note of the room. Is it large or small, light or dark? In the room will be a fear or wound needing healing. These can appear in many different ways, like monsters, for example, but sometimes they may be wounded people or other things. Symbolic meanings. It is not uncommon for the personified fear or wound to be quite hideous, since this represents the amount of pain associated with them, but they can also sometimes be abstract or comical. Be aware that you may experience fear at this point, but do not be put off by it, as you are here to heal this. If you find more than one in a room, it means that they are associated with each other, and you should heal them one at a time. Declare your intent to heal the personified fear or wound. Again, you might ask God or Goddess to help you. For example, to form it like this. Behold, there is one power in the universe and I am a perfect manifestation of that power. And as such I call upon the divine power within me to bring healing to this part of myself. Divine Mother Goddess, Divine Father God, lend me your aid in this undertaking, I pray you. By my will, so mote it be. Open a ball of white light above the personified fear or wound. Imagine a shower of light falling upon it, filling it with shining white light, just as you have done, maybe if you practice with chakras, then you can do that practice. As the personified fear or wound fills with light, the negativity will be transformed and you will see it change before your eyes. Focus on this, imagine it changing and will it to change, becoming whole and healthy and beautiful as you watch. See the light transform it. The light will heal it, making it whole and healthy and happy. It may take a while, but as you focus more and more light into the personified fear or wound, it will transform into something beautiful and radiant. And it will show signs of pleasure and delight when you near completion. Put as much light into the personified fear, symbol of your fear or wound as possible. Let the light fill the room as well, transforming it to make it bright and healthy too. Oh, sorry. 
Now thank the personified fear or wound which have become or has become healed and beautiful for all that it has brought to you. And assure it that it need never bear such pain again. Come back out through the door you entered and walk back up the hallway. As the hallway changed, has the hallway changed since you began? You may find that it has. As you come back up the hallway, let the image fade and return to your body. And you can use this technique then anytime you feel the need or use for that. So, <laughs> as I said, I know I can do them way, way better. If I do like, if I have clients and do journeys or healing practices of various kinds, I don't do them as randomly. I'm sorry that I treat you this way, but these are just examples mainly. I mean, you can do them in this meanwhile, but if I wanted to go all in, like in, in depth, then it's just an example. And I do them a little bit quicker and, and don't, I mean, we, you can induce trance in a, to begin with in a deep way and so on. So you will also have a greater experience of it, but, but still. And if you then have done practices with your energy system or your chakra system and, and the colors there and so on, and visualizations, and sometimes some people have a harder time seeing things and feel things more and or pick up in other ways and that's fine too and if you practice whatever um if you practice with your invisible or invisible but yeah your, your your inner senses is what i mean then all these inner senses will be um more activated so gradually you will also start to see if if needed maybe you don't actually you pick up so well in other ways you may not need that as much also but but anyways just imagining it and feeling it could be good and if you feel i mean i should have said that meanwhile but if at some point point you would feel f really that it's too much for you or uh so on then um then uh, of course you can just open your eyes and and just get out of it so I couldn't though <laughs> when I began my practice I just oof, I, had not, I had no control over my inner energies at all at the time so but now we have a few moments left so I will pick three cards but that was just an example and if also since I felt that there may be someone that is not well like of you I mean physically it it will be fine as I've seen it. I mean, this can go for many people then, but um, yeah. So therefore, I think maybe just if you get the technique, you can just close your eyes and whenever it suits you, um, just think about going in there. If it's something that needs healing many times as well, it it helps really. It helps. Okay. So now we'll pick a card for the situation right now. Oh, here we have, these are so weird, these cards. It's Nicoletta Kekoli Taro. Kara have the same deck. And this is number four. This is the star. She's so beautiful, laying there, flying around on a fish. Very weird. Like psychotic cards, but beautiful. And some of these cards have like a... They, they have... A, their messages can be actually more clear in this deck sometimes, but I haven't used it a lot. So I will pick two cards more, but I will talk about them then. And then is the next is for how to resolve this situation. I th it seems great though. Oh, this is eight. The This is strength. And she's actually on the... It, it's a card of... How, oh, no, no, no. A house of cards, you know. Hmm. House of cards. Corruption and all that. She There is a princess standing on the top of that. This you should see. I have to take a picture of it or something and and show you. Or if you can Google Nicoletta Kekoli, C E C C O L E O L I. I mean in English, Taro. Um, and number eight there, the, if it can be found. Hmm, interesting. But she's on top here, the princess, on this house of cards. 
that seems a little bit wobbly and not so not so sturdy or strong how can we resolve this hmm. i think this house of cards also like the tower sort of is going to fall and there are some aces and do 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 and and dices here around oh little princess well she seems fine though maybe Ah, huh, interesting. What can help? We shouldn't build the things on illusions. We need to be truthful to ourselves, especially. Or those cards will tumble down. And the result, and result, let's see. Oh, four of cups, but oh no. <laughs> oh, I said then no. She's in this uh, bubble, uh, you know, where you can have a uh, Christmas like those with a little um, sand or something in and you shake it or a deer. Or, and it snows inside of them. She's in one of those, in in one of those cups, like, but it's more of a. She's like a mermaid. And with mermaids, it's said that they become fully human when, when someone loves them truly. So she's like, not her full potential have not yet, come into form. But it's like a watery ocean. Deep here with the shells and everything. And fishes, of course. Um, it seems like the same princesses in the in the second card. There, they look totally alike. But this star here in the first card is someone else. It's someone with bright long hair. It doesn't have to be someone with bright long hair there than in reality. Just that it's someone with different energy. So let's see. Fourteen. The star. Drut. Uh, no, what do I say? This is balance card, temperance. Why did I say that even? The star is number 17, of course. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, temperance. Uh, find a blend of earthly and the spiritual within you. Mm. One foot in. I know, I get it. Uh, earth, the earthly and the spiritual within you. You are not bound to mundane matters unless you choose to be. Union alchemy, the conscious and unconscious. Someone she's floating harmoniously around on the back of this fish in the sky, very normal. And those little fishes are uh, like it's like her hair is like waves where the tiny fishes go through. It's, it's like a very, very harmonious dream, like, but anyways, she goes into this, she's almost sleeping there and uh, peaceful. That there's this dark haired little lady. Hmm. What is this about? Uh, how to resolve it? Oh, this is the house of cards going on. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Let's see. Oh, and, th and then it's not the strength because the strength and justice card can sometimes be re <laughs> shifted. It's not that I don't know the cards. I don't know why I said 14 would be the star, though. I have no clue. I, nothing in the cards says that. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I could relate to myself, dreamy there, sleepy. But um, but on the, with the eight, it's always that in the deck. Some of them exchange, though. So here it actually is not strength. But it's justice. So it's really the house of cards. Take care to maintain your ethical balance. Any move you make now will have consequences. Act for the highest good. This is karma, responsibility in legal matters, honor and so on and so forth. Wow, someone is... Uh, hmm. Interesting. Alright, and the next... the how it will be then here is this four of cups i mean not eventually because things always change but after a while the situation maybe oh this is in a cup maybe she's imprisoned i don't know now but let's see now for she seems to be stuck at least wow four of cups you have shut out the pleasures of the world and are in danger of becoming cynical. There is no excuse for being bored with bored with life. Discontent, isolation, uh, 
pity this Cyrus. This one, yeah, she's distant from life. Oh yeah, can can I relate to this too? No, but she's also contained kind of in this um, glass bowl she sits in. I don't know. Maybe also within herself. She's so much like the second uh, princess there. Maybe she was uh, held high or on top of some sort of, uh, or had a position or status or seen as, uh, because she stands on the top of this card, house card. Yeah, yeah, you know. And, um, and so maybe now when that is not happening, she's not so pleased. She does not have a crown on this last, uh, on this other card here. Uh, she's like lonely and uh, so so that would happen I think these these fake cards will come down people will see through you when things aren't real you know and yeah interesting I will have to pick another card although I've talked for more than an hour um, I will just pick one extra card for this because mm, it is exciting isn't it you should see the cards it's more more exciting to see them but also a little bit some you know I don't know when I do like this sometimes it feels like they are in your face aren't they well let's see now how to pick this I will fan no I can't fan them out here I don't have enough space I will do like this oh here Eight of Wands. This will happen quickly, though. Do, 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 if it's related, even. Oh oh. Ace of one. Eight. Of, I mean, not Ace. Eight of Wands. That's the also the arrows of love. So this is something positive. Messages of light and hope are coming to you from many sources. Pay attention, or you may miss them. Be prepared to take swift action. Hopes. Communication, flash of understanding, quick responses. Yeah, this is an an odd card, looking very strange. But beautiful, very beautiful. There are those fireflies around this person, connected to her like a thread. Very beautiful, very beautiful. Hmm. Okay, I will just end now then and hope this gave you something, but I shouldn't rush through some cards. But I thought if any... Not any of the other messages said something to you. Maybe this did, I hope. And I hope it was something positive. They see like uh, always when when illusions come down, although it may be sad that things weren't as we thought they were or something, still we, we gain in in truth. We gain in in knowing what is real, you know. So so we really win when that happens, however it goes. So yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I will get back to you later on and I hope you uh, could enjoy this. I'm sorry, I will try not to do them in a rushed way. Or, I mean, as if I don't have time to, <laughs> to do them later or more or concentrate, I don't know. I could uh, plan that better. I will. I won't promise, but yeah. Uh, take care now and uh, talk soon.